Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. In the last episode, we're finally back! We're on emulator now because my 3DS is borked and it's a lot prettier on here, to be honest. Now, I'm also sick. And because I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, I'm gonna go talk to Rosalind. It's just me, myself, and I, solo ride until I die, cause I got me for life. You're not here? Where are you? How dare. You might be over at the uh, church, or you might be on the east end. I'm not sure which. You're not here. Might as well talk to you. Good morning, Good morning Kyle! I don't handle woolies well. I'm embarrassed to say it, but I'm allergic to woolies! Just looking at a fully furball gives me a wrath, so if you give me one, expect some divine wrath! Oh, well, good to know. I actually didn't realize that, but it's very good to know. And also, shout out to his daughter's toy being filled with woolly fur. Ew, way. Hopefully he never touches that. <laughs> Rosalind! Rosalind! What? Ah, uh, where is she? She wouldn't be in here. My guess is that she's in transit, or she's upstairs in here. She must be in transit right now. Hey, Mana. I didn't think so. You're always wearing the same clothing, after all. Well, at least someone gets me. Pink turn up. Good morning. Kyle, I wonder if you know my birthday. Oh, I guess I never told you. My birthday is on the 21st of spring. I just thought I'd let you know. I did already know that, actually, but thanks anyway. Considering I gave you a gift. Yeah. But that's because I'm Elite Haxor, and that was everything. Or other such nonsense. Uh, where is she? I have... No idea where she is. Uh, good morning. Just started trying out tomatoes. Heard homegrown fresh tomatoes have a taste all their own. That's why you take good care of them until they're ready to harvest. Yeah. A gift for Max. Proof of Warrior. This must be Proof of Warrior. Is it for me? Really? Thanks. I doubt she'd be in here. I had to be certain. Thank you. Absolutely any time. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Running the end, I get to talk to all kinds of people from around the world. I really enjoy it. Well, that's a good thing to enjoy. Morning. Good morning, Kyle. I've been wanting to ask you. Kyle, how do you feel about me? Oh, well, um... Oh, did I surprise you? Never mind. What? She was totally within range. Thanks. This smells great. Is that for me? Thank you, Kyle. There you are. I guess you're at the end of the West Pier, whatever. Uh, the pier on the West End. You look good in, you look in good spirits, Kyle. This might be an odd question, but, uh, speed up! So the weird thing about this is that we have cold medicine, and it works. So I don't know what the point of this is. 8,000 G. Wow, you look pretty sick, Kyle. How wonderful. Now we can test- now we can start the experiment. First- First, I'm gonna take your temperature. I'm gonna touch your forehead, okay? Um, okay. Well, Rosalind's hands feel not so nice and cool. Hmm, it looks like you've got a bit of a temperature. And you're shivering a bit, like a scared little animal. Plus, your nose is all red. I'd say that you've successfully caught a cold. It's quite a good one, too. I really have to give you credit for this, Kyle. You've gone above and beyond the call of duty. Now, in the name of science, bottoms up! Bottoms up, bottoms up. The cold is gone. Wow, I can't believe how quickly that worked. I feel totally fine. He did it. You look like you're feeling 100% better, Kyle. I'll bet this new medicine will be a hitch for sure. Thank you so much. I would never have been able to do this without your cooperation. Really, the world of medicine, medical science is in your debt. Please take this. You deserve it. You acquired 8,000 G. Honestly, this should have been what unlocked cold medicine in the in Natalie's store. But, you know, whatever. Also, Kyle... What is it? I was wondering if maybe you could come by to see me on a regular basis. I can't really say it's ready until I study it for long-term side effects. Huh? Side effects? 
Oh, don't be silly. I'm reasonably certain there's nothing to worry about. You'll probably, most likely, know you'll definitely be okay. It was thanks to your help, Kyle, that I was able to finish this medicine. Thank you so much. And the two-dayer one is done. As usual, we'll be going around giving gifts for now. Trying to get everyone to love us. Beyond just that, though... I love this. Where'd you come from, Kyle? I don't know, I've lost my memory. You don't remember, huh? Don't worry, I'm good at forgetting things too, like when Mom gets angry with me. Hmm. <laughs> Oof. Alright, so like I was saying, uh, we'll be, you know, making everyone love us and doing requests. Up until the 25th, it's just this. The 25th is the next festival, and after that, we'll probably be doing a little bit of skipping. <laughs> um, hey, Roy, what happened? Hey, now, you're a Roy Roy, right about boy. Oh, wait, boy, you read the bulletin board, Kyle? I've got something else I want to ask you. I was horsing around the house when I broke the shoulder piece decoration on the kitchen shelf. If Mom finds out it's broken, she'll throw me out of the house. You gotta help me, Kyle. I need a replacement before Mom notices it's broken. For crying out loud, you broke something else? I wish you'd learn to control that energy of yours, Roy. <laughs> Sorry, I need to I had to be careful, honest. I wonder. I swear I do. Please, Kyle, you gotta bail me out. Alright, alright. So where can I find another shoulder piece? Awesome, I knew you wouldn't let Mom kill me. Let's see, a shoulder piece. That's right, the orc viking carries it. You'll find that monster at Padova Mountain's Crossroad. I can never take it on myself. Thanks a million. Wow, thanks again, Kyle. And now we're heading home rather than Padova, because I actually have a bunch of those. I've been collecting them for a bunch of crafting and whatnot, so... I think I might have an extra. So it's a shoulder piece. Should be able to get it from Orc Viking. I can never mention it myself. That's why I need your help, Kyle. There we go. Shoulder piece, level two. I need you to come through for me, Kyle. Thanks for keeping Mom from destroying me with her wrath. You're my hero, Kyle. You deserve something in return. Here you go. Pudding. Be careful the next time you're playing. <laughs> I'll try. Now she won't get mad at me. All right, on to the next quest. Um, thinking about which one of these does what. Julia! I saw your message on the board, Julia. Is there something I can help you with? Ah, uh, Kyle, you saw my message. Okay, this is kind of short notice, but... Yes? Could you maybe run over to Douglas' store and get me something nice and healthy to eat? You know what I'm really... That I'm really careful when it comes to matters of beauty, right? Well, a very important part of that is making sure you eat right. But it's really hard to put energy into cooking healthy, balanced meals every single day. Sometimes I just can't find the time. When that happens, I just buy something from Douglas' store. Sure, that makes sense. You can't always find the time to cook. You get me so well, Kyle. Tell Douglas I sent you. I think he'll be able to help you out. Make sure it's healthy. See you later. Okay. Uh, oh. He's behind the counter. That's weird. Hey, Kyle. You're to buy out my inventory again? <laughs> um, not right now. Hey, do you have anything healthy? Any healthy food in stock? Uh, food, huh? Let's see, food, food. Well, I do have some cabbage cakes and salad. Oh, well, maybe I'll take the salad. What, you're a man, boy. What do you want a salad for? A man should go with cabbage cakes. They're deep fried and delicious. So never make you big and strong. <laughs> oh, no, it isn't for me. I'm telling you, you want the cabbage cakes. Uh, sure, I'll take the cabbage cakes. And a boy, eat these every day and you'll be big and strong in no time. <laughs> Boy, Douglas really knows how to push a sale. This is exactly why I waited to do this until now. Just, what were you thinking? Uh, I'm sorry, Douglas really insisted I take this. Hold it, you seriously think I'm gonna eat that? Do you want me to put on weight? Kyle, you moron! I can't bear to look at you right now, Kyle. Just get out of here! Sorry. Not the best, but that's also not what we actually gave her. I'll take the salad. I want the salad. <laughs> that stuff's for sissies. You'll never grow big and strong like that. Be a man, boy. It's not for me, for goodness sake. Here, here's your little salad, Miss Kyle. You received a salad. Thank you. 
This is what we actually gave her. Actually, uh... A combination of raw vegetables. Very, very nutritious. Wow, you got me a salad! Great, this is just what I wanted. Perfect. Just what I wanted. You've got great intuition, Kyle. I'm glad you're happy. But Douglas thinks I'm... But Douglas thinks I'm the one who's gonna eat it. He kept telling me that salads are for sissies. Oh dear, how terrible for you. You went through all of that for me? You have my gratitude. Thank you, Kyle. Here's something for you. Formula A. Why not try using that on your crops? It should do them some good. Thank you. Great. I knew I could count on you, Kyle. See you soon. Alright. We helped out another person. This time showing off the correct and incorrect routes. Because, you know, I have save states now, so I can do that without having to play up to that point in a file. Oh. Dorothy, 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 the small child. My best friend, the cutest girl. She's not here. Awkward! Where is baby? She's probably at her house alone. I can't stand this! Or stand for this. Whatever I'm trying to say. She's not here. Um... Where? Oh, she's... If she's not here, or at work, up here? No? Barrett, right. once you brute Yeah, okay. Where are you? Ooh. Wait, you know what? What am I doing? I have a way to find her. Alicia! I don't know how your magic works. Hi there. Hey, Kai. Yeah, yeah, we read this. 20th of summer. Oh, she actually told us this time. Okay, location reading for... Dorothy. Gordon is in the chapel. What? I guess she got there after I left. Wild. Hi, Kyle. Hello. Well, today is a beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Do you... Do you want anything? Would you... Would you please... Uh, Tackle a week with me? Tackle a what? Uh, I, that came out all wrong. Oh, 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 um... Okay, okay, okay. Fern, please tell him. Dorothy wants to take a walk with you. Take a walk? That's right, she'll be waiting in front of the church tomorrow. Okay, I understand. Good, make sure you show up tomorrow. I'll give you back to Dorothy now. That's what I wanted to say. So, can we take a walk? Okay, I'll look forward to it, Dorothy. Okay, thanks. So this is a two-day thing. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Let's... Let's do a bit of a cut here. Um... Actually, no, I have a better way to do it. Give me a second. Alright, we're finally going to start our bestiary today. Starting off, we have the pom-pom found in Trieste Forest during the day. With an HP of 50, attack of 9, defense of 8, they're pretty simple. They have a non-elemental attack where they can jump at you, and they can also roll in at the speed of sound. Should you defeat them, they can drop an apple, and should you tame them, they can act as a combatant for you. Next up, we have the Orc Archer, found in Trieste Forest here during the day. With an HP of 45, an attack of 10, and defense of 11, their attacks are actually earth-based and can fire from a range. 
They themselves are fairly slow, but their arrows travel at a good speed, so just move out of the way and you shouldn't have any issue. Should you defeat them, they can drop arrowheads, and should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. Next up found during the day here is the box standard orc. HP 45, attack of 10, at defense of 11. Their attacks are also earth-based, and they just have a generic serial attack where they swing their little club. They can drop cheap cloth should you defeat them, and should you tame them, they can harvest your crops for you. Now if you come back at night to Trieste Forest, you can find the Wooly. HP 50, attack 15, defense of 6. They have non-elemental attacks where they can tackle you. They actually typically run away more often than attacking, and then occasionally get in a hit if you stay around them for too long. So they're actually more annoying to tame than just to defeat. Should you defeat them, they can drop woolly furballs for you. And should you tame them, they'll produce wool fleeces every few days. Next up at night in Trieste Forest are ants. With an HP of 20, attack of 12, and defense of 4. Their attacks are also earth-based, and they just have a basic attack where they wander around and then eventually pick a fight with you. If there are multiple on screen at once, it can be more annoying, but otherwise you shouldn't have any issues. Should you defeat them, they can drop insect skin. And should you tame them, you can get them to harvest your crops for you. Not that I would really want giant ants to harvest my crops, it's kind of weird. And the last enemy in Trieste Forest at night is the spider. HP 25, attack 15, defense of 7. Their attacks are, once again, earth-based, and they just kind of wander around, going around for a set period of time before they gain aggro and attack you all at once. Should you have a fast-hitting weapon, I'd recommend attacking them while they're running around, and just dodge whenever they come straight at you. Should you have a slow-hitting weapon, just attack when they're heading straight towards you and you shouldn't have any issue. Should you defeat them, they'll drop strong string, and should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. Alright, and now we're on to Blessia Island. Our first enemy during the day is the Goblin Pirate. HP 50, Attack 12, Defense 2. It can actually be found in multiple locations, here, down here, and up here. Its attacks are actually fire-based. It has its basic serial attack, as well as a swing that'll deal extra damage. Should you defeat it, it can drop quality cloth. And should you tame it, it'll water your crops for you. Next up during the day is the Goblin Gangster, HP 50, Attack 12, Defense 2. It can be found in multiple places, just like the previous Goblin, found right here and up here. Its attacks are also fire-based. Should you be within range, it can try to stab you with its knives, but for the most part, it throws two knives consecutively. Should you defeat it, it'll drop a skull, and should you tame it, it'll water your crops for you. And now back here at night, you can fight the Scorpion. HP 30, Attack 10, Defense 6. Just like with the Goblins, it can be found here and right here. Its attacks are actually dark based. It can attack with its claws, as well as with its Poison Stinger, which has a chance of poisoning you. But sometimes not. I'm not exactly sure what determines it, but my guess would be that the higher your vitality is, the more you resist it, maybe? I'm not positive. <laughs> For me, the poison seems to deal about 4 damage per second, which quickly accumulates. Carry some antidotal herbs with you, that way you don't end up suffering. On the bright side, you won't die to poison. Should you defeat them, they can drop a scorpion tail. And should you tame them, they'll be a combatant for you. And the last enemy on Blessia Island during the night is the Shadow Panther. HP 70, attack 12, defense 7. Their attacks are also dark based. They swipe with their paws in a combo when you attack them normally, but after you've dealt enough damage, they'll begin tackling you rapidly. Should you defeat them, they'll drop a panther claw, and should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. Alright, starting off in Machina Valley, we have the Goblin during any time of the day, found both here and down here. Goblins have an HP of 45, an attack of 13, and a defense of 12. Their attacks are fire-based, just like their pirate compatriots. They normally have a lunge attack, but should you attempt to swing at them and miss, they'll actually walk around your hit and attempt to backstab, dealing extra damage. Should you defeat them, they can drop the proof of warrior, and should you tame them, they'll water your crops for you. During any time of the day, up here you can find the goblin archers. HP 45, attack 13, defense 2. Their attacks are also fire-based, and the strategy for dealing with them is the exact same as dealing with the orc archers. These guys will fire two arrows in a burst, one right after another. Assuming that you don't want to fight them, take that opportunity to do any mining. Should you want to fight them, use that chance to counterattack. 
Just know that we'll reset their timer and they will instantly fire two more. Should you defeat them, they'll drop a cheat bandage, and should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. Specifically during the day, if you head over here, you'll find the Buffamoo, HP 80, Attack 9, Defense 7. They're actually non-aggressive unless you attack them. They have a non-elemental headbutt attack. Unlike a lot of enemies, they'll actually only attack you for every time you hit them. For instance, I hit him here, he hits back. But it is then non-aggressive, even if I want to push him out of the way. Should you defeat them, they'll drop small milk, and should you tame them, they'll produce milk for you every few days. Now if you come back to the same place at night, you'll find the Cluckadoodle. HP 40, Attack 8, Defense 4. They're a completely non-aggressive enemy unless you hit them three times in a row. Then, they have a non-elemental peck attack that they'll hit you with rapid succession. Should you defeat them, they'll drop small egg. <clears throat> and should you tame them, they'll produce eggs for you every few days. And now we're on to Padova Mountains. The enemies around Padova Mountains are quite a bit stronger than the rest, so be more careful here. During the day, should you go here, 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 or here, you'll find Orc Vikings. Should you go to the one up here, you'll actually be able to fight two of them at once. HP 80, Attack 23, Defense of 7. These guys have water-based attacks, they have a basic swing, and they have a powerful swing that will deal more damage. Should you defeat them, they'll drop shoulder pieces. And should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. And if you return to any of those locations at night, you'll instead find Ogre Vikings. HP 60, Attack 12, Defense of 7. Their attacks are also water-based, but they fight using tomahawks rather than an axe and a shield. They can either slash at you if you're nearby, or throw multiple tomahawks in a row should you be at range. Be careful as these guys hurt a lot more than a lot of other enemies, and being able to hit twice in a row, especially when there's two of them attacking at once, is pretty significant. Should you defeat them, they'll drop glue, and should you tame them, they'll act as a combatant for you. No matter what time of the day you come here, in these two spots you'll find Silver Wolves. HP 65, Attack 23, Defense of 7. They have a non-elemental tackle as well as a combo attack that hits you three times. These guys are some of my favorite monsters, but they are pretty nasty. Both dealing really high damage and their combo attack being able to hit multiple times, they can easily combo you between two of them. So just don't get stuck up against a wall or between two of them, you should be fine. Should you defeat them, they can drop the Wolf Fang. And should you tame them, they'll act as a mount and a combatant for you. And that is every monster as of this point. Thank you for listening to my long little spiel. And a bigger thank you to Jocelyn, aka Luna Reigns, over on Twitter. She did a lot of the artwork here, which I'll kind of just throw across the screen real quick. It was really kind of her to do this, and honestly, they're just so cute. It just makes me so happy. Thank you, Joss. This couldn't have been done like this without you. Okay, and it's a rainy day today, which means no watering for me. Do gotta check though. How am I doing? I am up to 56 feed currently. I think I have six things of feed going at a time, which will give me 36 each harvest every few days. So, good, good. I'm not sure what time she'll show up, so I'm just going to head over in front of the church to see if she just is there. She is at 6 a.m. during the rain. Sure, Dorothy, you might have anxiety. Hi, Dorothy. Hello, Kyle. Just wait a moment, please. I, uh, hello, Kyle. It's me, Fern. Hello, Fern. I need to talk to you about Dorothy. Please, will you listen? Yes, of course. What's going on? I thought I was here to spend time with Dorothy. Dorothy trains hard every day to be a nurse, but as you're, I'm sure you're aware, she's also very shy. Well, I think it's great that she's trying. It's not easy for her. She studies very hard, and she's very passionate about a medicine. 
but no matter what she does, she can't seem to communicate effectively with other people. But that's a vital part of being a nurse. I believe that the key to solving this, that's the key to solving this, the one thing keeping her from being a great nurse, lies with you. With me? That's right. Could you help her to finally open her heart? If it will help Dorothy, then I'll do whatever I can. Oh, wait. That he... It doesn't matter. He was imitating for... <laughs> Thank you. I knew you were the right person to ask, so please, take care of Dorothy. Uh, so... Don't... Please don't overthink this. Just relax and take your time to decide. Okay. Thank you. I'm sorry about today for taking up your time. Well... Goodbye. So the only way for Dorothy to express herself, whatever. Ruby. So the only way for Dorothy. I, I need to stop saying four. So the only way Dorothy can express her true feelings is through her doll. From what the doll just told me, though, it sounded like Dorothy really wants to get better at talking to people. To help her, I'll need to get her to start talking without that doll. Well, it looks like I'll have to take that walk with her sometime in the future. Oh. Well, social anxiety is something that I get, especially when I was younger. Hmm. Interesting. There are a lot of quests. And normally I like to end episodes at the end of days, not at the beginning. But I am actually extremely tired. It's only 2.30 in the afternoon, but I feel like I'm going to pass out, so I need to take a nap. <laughs> I hate to cut this short. I have no idea how long this episode's been. It was a bestiary episode. I went over everything, and I'm hoping that's enough for today. I see you all next time, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Goodbye. Look what you made me do, what you made me do.